Choosing the right laptop can feel overwhelming. Every year, new models hit the market with upgraded specs, making it a tough decision. Should you prioritize performance or stick to your budget? And with so many options, where do you even start? Don't worry, we've got you covered. And in this video, we're breaking down the best laptops for architects in 2025, from the must-have specs to our top recommendations. First up, software optimization. Many architecture programs like Revit and AutoCAD run best on Windows. If you're a Mac user, you can work with ArchiCAD or Vectorworks, but Revit doesn't run natively on Mac OS. You'd need Parallels or a Windows emulator. Sadly, Apple's latest MacBooks with ARM chips can't run Revit even with a Parallels or a Windows emulator. Because of that, we're leaving MacBooks out of our recommendations. Next, the CPU. A lot of software is CPU intensive, especially BIM programs that handle heavy calculations. A clock speed above 2.5 is needed to avoid lag. Autodesk recommends at least 2.5, but realistically, you'll want something even higher for smooth modeling. Then we have the GPU. This is super important for rendering and real-time visualization tools like Lumion, Enscape, and 3ds Max. If you're serious about rendering, go for a laptop with a dedicated GPU like an NVIDIA RTX 4050 at least. But if you do want something more optimized for rendering tools, a 4070 is perfect for its price and performance. Next is memory and storage. Memory and storage matter too. The absolute minimum is 16 GB RAM, but I don't recommend it because Windows alone eats up at least 8 GB. Realistically, you need 32 GB for smooth performance, and most gaming laptops often let you upgrade the RAM, which is a great plus. Never overlook the SSD speed. Fast storage makes a big difference in rendering and just overall workflow efficiency. Other specs that you shouldn't overlook are the screen, cooling, and ergonomics. High resolution and color accuracy matters when you're working on detailed designs. Gaming laptops tend to focus more on performance, sometimes compromising on display quality, but you can always hook up an external monitor for more precision. Overheating can also worsen your performance, so you need a laptop with a solid cooling system. Most slim or lightweight laptops can't pull higher graphics in the system because it would overheat it. On the other hand, most gaming laptops have better cooling but are way bulkier. But you still want to be comfortable, especially if you're spending long hours designing. So choose something that's not too bulky or light. So now you know your specs, here are our top picks based on performance, price, and overall value for architects. So for entry to mid-level end, we have the Lenovo LOQ Ryzen 7 gaming laptop. If you're in a budget but still need solid performance, the Lenovo LOQ is a great starting point. With an AMD Ryzen 7 processor and a RTX 4050 GPU, it handles essential architecture software like AutoCAD and SketchUp fine. It also has a 15.6-inch Full HD display, which is decent for design work. While it's not the most powerful option, it's certainly upgradable. This is great for students at a price point of around $800 to $1,000. Next up, we have Asus Tough Gaming A16. So the Asus Tough Gaming A16 is a solid, budget-friendly option for architects who need reliable performance. It has an AMD Ryzen 9 processor and NVIDIA RT 4070 GPU, so it can easily handle BIM software like Revit and AutoCAD. Its 16-inch display delivers clear visuals, while the 16GB DDR5 RAM and a 512GB SSD makes it smooth for multitasking and way more storage than the previous laptop. In my opinion, it's also the most affordable yet powerful laptops in the 2025 market. So now we're onto the mid to high end laptops. And our first pick is Lenovo Legion Pro 5i 2023. So this is a previous model, which makes it better for your budget, but it's still great. And if you want a balance of like power and price, the Legion Pro 5i is an excellent choice. So it comes with a 14th gen Intel Core i9 processor and an NVIDIA RTX 4070 GPU, making it a strong performer for 3D modeling, rendering, and BIM workflows. Plus, it also has a high resolution display and efficient cooling, so you won't have to worry about overheating during long design sessions. It's also more portable than bulkier gaming laptops, giving you a great mix of performance and usability. 
It's priced around $1,500, which is great for its specs and a bit more than our previous recommendations. Next pick is the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Ultra. So the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Ultra is a great lightweight option. This laptop packs an Intel Core Ultra 9 processor and NVIDIA RTX 4070 GPU, making it ideal for architects handling detailed 3D modeling and rendering. The 16-inch AMOLED display offers stunning color accuracy, while the 32 GB of RAM and 1 TB SSD provides ample space for large project files with a compromising performance, especially great for drafting and rendering bigger projects. Another great plus is its long battery life at $2,500 to $3,000. This is a great mid to high-end laptop for architects. So for our high-end laptops, we have the, I think my favorite pick, the MSI Titan 18. So if you need top tier performance with long-term scalability, the MSI Titan 18 is so great. It has exceptional upgradability, supporting up to 192 GB of DDR5 RAM and PCLE Gen 5 storage, so your hardware can easily handle more projects throughout your career. So it's powered by an Intel Core i9 processor and an NVIDIA RDX 1490 GPU, delivering unmatched speed for rendering lifelike objects like um, BIM simulations, handling resource-intensive software like Revit, Rhino, 3ds Max, like it literally can do anything. So the 18-inch 4K mini LED display offers outstanding color accuracy and sharpness, making it ideal for detailed modeling and photorealistic renderings. And with 128 GB of DDR5 RAM and a 4 TB SSD as its base configuration, you won't have to worry about multitasking or storage limitations. Finally, it has an advanced cooling system, which is very high performance without this disruptive fan noise you get. So you can focus on designing without overheating issues. If you want the closest thing to a mobile workstation and you have the budget to do so, we highly, highly recommend the MSI Titan 18. It's priced at around $6,400, but it's one of the best in the market. So go and get it, guys. And if you're doubting and you need more proof, Take it from this guy who has the MSI Titan 18. Now, our second pick is the Razer Blade 16. So the Razer Blade 16 is a sleek and professional laptop and it runs on a 14th gen Intel Core i9 processor, NVIDIA RTX 4080 GPU, making it perfect for 3D modeling again, rendering all those complex simulation. The 16 inch OLED display delivers already sharp details and vibrant colors, ideal for fine-tuning designs and client presentations. With the 32 GB of DDR5 RAM and the 1 TB SSD, it handles large projects pretty smoothly. Plus, it also has an advanced cooling system, which really helps with the performance over time. This is also a great choice for a high-end laptop at $3,500 to $3,700 price point, which is I'd say almost half of the MSI Titan 18. And if you want high-end power that is refined, portable, packaged, and I think this is a very, very great choice. If you want a comparison between the two, I highly recommend you check out these videos and what they say about it below. Now I want to hear from you. What's your thoughts on making this like a series in our channel? Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comment section. And if you found this video super helpful or just a little bit, <laughs> Hit the like button below, subscribe, and check out our next video for more architecture tech insights or ar anything architecture, really. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!